This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. Hello everyone, this is Vatsal Patel for Complete Sports Management and welcome to the post-match interview. We just witnessed a fantastic game between Glen Aris Gladiators and St. Mary's Buras. But in the end, St. Mary's Buras wins it comfortably with the scoreline of 26-18. to Today I got is a coach of Glen Aris team, Lucky Ray. Let's start with him. Lucky, after two consecutive games, it was first loss for your side. Pretty disappointed with the team's performance? Um, oh look, we, we lost a couple key players coming into the game. Um, especially at depth in the midfield. Um, we knew it was going to be tough against St Mary's. We had a, a lot of tough matches against them last year. Um, so, yeah, we came in with the mindset, you know, that we wanted to give it a good crack. And I thought today the girls did. I mean, it was a bit tough in the first half. They probably kicked ahead in a bit, but that last quarter was really good and showed us how we could play. Kicked two goals, so in a low-scoring game as well. So, yeah, it was good to see. And your star player, Sophie Heming- Hemingway, was not playing today. That affected our team's performance? What do you say about her? Um, yeah, Soph had... Um, she hurt her finger last week, so I, um, she'll be right. Um, but yeah, it it did hurt a little bit, but we had plenty of girls to take her space. It was probably just more around the centre of the ground. As forwards didn't get much opportunity, so yeah. And according to you, what was the turning point for the game? I think it was the first quarter when you were leading with the six points and then suddenly you lost the momentum. Yeah, well, to be honest, the... St Mary's had most of the play and um, our back line held up really well and then we got the ball out the back and got a, a good goal. Um, but yeah, St Mary's most of the first half had, had all the play so I guess it was, it was pretty, they had control from the start of the game really. And what do you learn from today's game? Um, I think the girls put in a really good effort. I mean, I can't, I can't really take too much away from them. Um, probably could have hit the contest a little bit harder in the first half and tried to swing things around um, maybe given our key players some different opportunities and put them in different positions but you know it's all retrospect and in the end they gave it a good crack so I'm pretty happy with how they played yeah thanks a lot lucky for talking to us it was a hard game for you guys and thanks a lot for talking to us Thank and you. thanks man thanks hello I'm Richard Binney from complete sports management we've here with the winning coach for St Mary's Lee Pacioni. Lee, what did you think of today's effort, mate? Um, today's effort was a, a fantastic win, Richard. Um, I asked the girls at the start of the game for four quarters and, um, you know, and, and everyone to uh, equally contribute to the, uh, to the game, and, and they did. So it was nice to, uh, to, to get the win after last week's disappointing loss, but, um, you know, it's, the girls showed a great fight in the last quarter as well just to, to, uh, to hold on, I think. I'm not sure if it, it might be just her pink helmet, but... Um, Grace Dicker really stood out for me today. She was, she just seemed to have a lot of the ball through the midfield. Yeah, Grace is um, a, a, a welcome uh, inclusion this week. She's uh, missed the the last two just with uh, with illness, but um, she's she was she got good run and carry with the ball. She's very quick, so you know um, it's it's nice to see her break the break the game open a bit. And Sarah Sansonetti, was, she was a little bit down compared to how I've seen her the past few weeks, but I really thought in the last quarter when the game, when it looked like they were pressing hard and they were coming back, she started tackling hard again. What, what is it with her? She just likes to be, be in it when it's competitive or something. Uh, no, I actually gave her a, a job to do and I think she um, saw that job right through. Um, it, it was she, she played four quarters and um, you know it was one of our best um, said she had a, a job to do on one of their um, goal kickers and um, and she and she did so I was very pleased with her efforts today now lately you've you seem to be having a few troubles in the forward half um, I don't you didn't actually score in the set, whole second half of that game what do you attribute that to uh, I think the not scoring in the first half was probably just uh, the second half. Sorry, was just down to um, the pressure that they they applied. I said told 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 our girls that um, they'd probably come at you a little bit, and they did. No one scored anything in the third quarter, and then for them to I think they got two 
two goals in the last quarter and us to not get anything. Um, that's sort of what I might have, uh, you know, expected the game to pan out, them to come back at us, and, and they did. But our girls showed great fight and, and held on. Cheers, Lee. Thanks. Enjoy the win. And once again, there was St Mary's by eight points over Glen Iris. I'm Richard Binney for Complete Sports Management. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.